Good day, folks. This is Omar Hosea, servant. I wanted to share on the contracts under African Africa, um, American America, black, white, Indian. Uh, you know, all these names you see on your contract or your birth certificate. And then on your job application, on your driver's license. Now, we know from the Straw Man Acts that these are names is worth a lot of money and it's being traded. But now, uh, with all these new laws about if you can't pay your debts, they're going to come in and take your property because of these contracts. Now, if you really think, Nimrod was the first ruler of the, uh, of the world because he took Adam's garment. And so now, the kings of Kemet, after Sheba came to see Solomon in Asia, not in Kemet, it was in Asia. Look at look the map up, Asia Major, you'll see the whole map. And you'll see a small map of Asia Minor. That's what they have it called the Middle East, because it's in the middle of Asia. Uh, where the sun always shines. Uh, so we look back at that, then you look at the names that's been changed commit to change from Africa. So there's a contract when Romans came over and took over Africa. When the Greeks came over and took over parts of Egypt and North you know, and the, the sea coast of, of all of Africa and Asia. The majority. Except for where the Chinese, Japanese and our Arab brothers are still occupying their homeland. So now, how come they're not under a contract and forced to pay, and you are African, you're living in Africa, and black African living in America, American, or Indian. So, when you use these uh, slave names, and the and the slave traders uh, stock market collapse. That means the slave buyer won't be buying you anymore. The slave breaker won't be having any interest in you anymore. And so that means you can't pay your bills. I.e., no jobs. Uh, I.e., government uh, expecting to bail you out. I eat a state. You're looking for state supplement or say state handouts, what they would call welfare or things of that nature. I'm not saying it is bad or good or right or wrong, we're just saying the debt. And so now we understand that uh America owes a lot of money to China, Asia. Asia. Uh we see that British owes a lot of money to China, Japan, Asians, that's in Africa. Egypt, so-called Kemet, owes a lot of money to who? Syria, no. you know. And plus they owe to uh, Rome. See Pompeii. See the deal with Cleopatra in Egypt when she went over there to mess with Caesar and Mark Anthony and Octavian. So these was contracts. So we're saying to the so called, what would these call us, Afro Asiatics, you have to find out or dig for yourself that you're not. Uh, uh, Kemetic, and that majority of us are Asiatics, and that majority 
of this land that we was already at, our ancestors, who came across Asia the other way, coming through, through California, you know, through Canada. Um, that's why you have Hawaii, where all the Asians from Hawaii, they didn't come right across. Uh, that's why the U.S. The US military got bases up close to uh, the, uh, Alaska, Washington, up near them, them states. Why? Because China's on the opposite side, Asia. So you can't let these guys minimize the mass, make one place, one place small, another size big. You know, it's still in your own psyche. So we're just sharing this with you guys, man, who, who keep glorifying Africa, understand where that name come from and who named it. And how it's played a, a horrific role in history. You know, and just because they have a lot of gold and a lot of cars and chariots and stuff, that, don't make them a prized possession of the most high. You know, you, know, you put you take a hard working man, put him in a room, and a person who's ever worked with a lot of money and put him in the same room. They wouldn't know what to say to each other. Why? Because one knows how to work and one don't. But, uh, and I just want to share that with y'all. Um, so instead of speaking on Black History Month, you might want to try out Asiatic History Month, Afro-Asiatic History Month. Uh, uh, we are the original Shemitics, Shemites. Uh, you know, and another thing too, this competition of who was first and who was last, it all belongs to the Most High. You know, but the story goes like this, and nobody wants to talk about it. You know, the sea of Canaan will serve uh, Shem. And the seed of Canaan will serve your theft. And your theft will live under the tent of Shem. So your theft and Ham will be under the tent of Shem, the house of righteousness. Where all the prophets come from. And why we have the oil. You know why Asia is such a superpower now still. You know, even though their skin has been uh, paled out. But besides the point that they retained a lot of its culture. And they're not the borrower, but the lender. And the Most High told us, no longer will you be the borrower, but you'll be the lender if you follow my rules. So till next time, uh, this is stage one of sharing uh, Asiatic History Month. Instead of Black History Month, Asiatic History Month. Because all those brothers and sisters who created those things uh, are of Asiatic descent. And if you think about it, if you look at the statistics, why they say all Asian kids or the Asian community are leading us in technology. That's why they say all the Asian descent people are leading in the spacewalk and in money and education. Uh, 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 scholastics of all sorts. Uh, and we wake up and realize our part uh, in, human, in this human race. You will see that uh, along with our brain power, like their brain power, we supersede everybody around us. The, Af the so-called commit Africans can't, can't blend with us. You know, can't nobody on the planet blend with the so-called black man, or really who is an Asiatic man. Uh, nothing on this planet can deal with us. Only one that has some competition as an intellect is the Chinese and the Japanese. Why? Because they come from us, not the other way around. And so here's just another tad bit for uh, Asiatic History Month. And this is Omar Jose saying, this don't sound right. So we move in silence, and if we do, so we continue to speak. Till next time, be good to each other, one love, one God, many ways to get to him. Shalom.